Why were Harley Davidson not at the Motorcycle Live show in the UK? Let's get into this one. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you're all well. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notifications bell for all future videos. <gasps> so, Harley Davidson, they were not, they were absent, absent from the Motorcycle Live show uh, in the UK just this last week. It's the biggest indoor motorcycle show in the UK that has uh, that they have to offer. Um, it's probably one of the biggest ones full stop, and it attracts a lot of attention. All the major players are there, all the major brands are there, but noticeably absent this year was Harley-Davidson. Now, I believe earlier in the year they were supposed to be there, then they just dropped off the list. Now, it could be a little bit wrong there, but I believe they were supposed to be there. The questions have been coming out for quite a few weeks now. Well, why are Harley Davidson not going to be there? And now, why were Harley Davidson not there? What has happened? What's gone on that Harley Davidson, one of the biggest players in the motorcycle world, the biggest uh, American motorcycle manufacturer, has got legions of fans here in the UK and around Europe, of course, but also around the world. Why were they not at the biggest motorcycle show that the UK has to offer? Very interesting, right? Well, I've got a few theories on this, and it could be, it could be a financial thing. It could be that Harley-Davidson have looked at the pricing of uh, these shows, to go to these shows, the amount of money that they have to spend, the investment, you know, what these shows, what they, what they charge for trade uh, stands, but also the manufacturers to be at these shows, is it's a lot of money, right? But it's surely not that much when you consider a big manufacturer like Harley Davidson. Now, if you're a very small manufacturer, I get it. If you're a big manufacturer, it shouldn't really be an issue, right? So there could, there could be a costing issue. So this could be an early indication, possibly, that Harley Davidson as a company, yeah, they are um, they're in financial trouble, let's say. Possibly. Some people might jump to that conclusion, but some people might grab at those straws. But I, I, I'll reserve that judgment. I don't think this is the case at all. What I do think is the issue is where they're thinking, we have to spend a lot of money here for this trade show, but we're not sure what benefit we're getting from it. Now, here's the other aspect I want to dive into. Over the last sort of few years, the trade show, Motorcycle Live, has been getting increasing criticism i suppose from many people out there many motorcycle fans thinking you know it's just not worth it or it's just it's quite boring there's not a lot of activity there there's not a lot for us to see it just seems a bit flat they talk about the pricing of the thing you know 25 pounds or whatever it was you know per ticket i don't think that's outrageous myself but other people would so there has been this growing dissenting voice of the show itself to think you know what we can't be bothered to go there now i've been going for quite a few years i went before then i had a quite a big break then i started going again and when i started going again i could definitely see a, a real downward trend in the motorcycle live show if they just seem it just seemed to get flatter and flatter each year there just didn't seem to be that much going for it years gone by i used to be able to go to trade shows and get deals on products let's say bargains but that has kind of disappeared. Then you look at the trade shows and you think, well, well, actually, we're going to these trade shows, but a lot of the bikes that they've got there, they're not new bikes. You can just go to your dealership and see and sit on them and have a go at them and ride them. So what's the point of going to a trade show when you can already see it down the road in your local town? Well, then you think, well, you've got all the other bikes out there. And you say, yeah, okay, fine. So you go and sit on a bike and it's all it's all great. And you're jockeying around and jostling around just to see what all the manufacturers are doing and what trade stands they're putting on and all that kind of stuff. So it's good, right? You, you're kind of enjoying yourself. But then at the end of it, you come away from it thinking, there's it's not a lot to see here. There's not a lot of new stuff. So what's the point of me even going? So there's been increasing dissenting voices from those who choose not to go anymore because those who choose to go will probably still be entertained by it, right? So we can't really say that everybody's saying it's rubbish, right? But there's been a growing number of people who think, I just can't be bothered with it. Now, I've also noticed, say, over the years, it's got flatter and flatter. There hasn't really been a lot there. So it could be that the Harley-Davidson are tapping into that vibe. They're tapping into a vibe where they think, well, it's costing us a lot of money. We're not sure if we're getting the, the return on our investment from not only the people who like our product, 
but also the people who don't necessarily like our product, but would just come around and have a look. We don't seem to be getting that feedback. Now also they're collecting data when they go to these trade shows by the number of people there, you sign up for this little newsletter, you sign up to go into this competition, let's say. This is all about data gathering. And they're probably looking at that and thinking, we're not really getting the, the big return. So it's probably a cost issue. It's probably a marketing disappointment on their part. The other thing that we've got to consider is that Harley-Davidson in the last three years have changed the way that they appear at trade shows as well. It used to be that there used to be a real kind of fun vibe to their trade stand. There'd be music, there'd be lights, there'd be activity, there'd be characters around. It just seemed to be a really cool place to be. Then about three or four years ago, they changed all that. They went for this very corporate feel, big box area, and very dark, very gloomy. There was no fun anymore. There was no fun aspect to it. Everybody seemed to be quite serious, very professional, which is great on one hand, but it's not really what you want to go to Harley Davidson for, especially a trade show. You want a bit of fun. You want a bit of excitement. You want people to be fun and chatty with you if you know if you want that kind of professional attitude you might as well just go to honda you might as well just go to bmw or triumph or whatever so other trade stands are trying to raise their game in the fun factor indian for example uh bmw have a lot of activities going on there uh, some of the smaller brands are you know bringing the lights bring the razzmatazz a little bit but harley davidson went from that entertainment factor and they just dropped off the edge of the cliff and went on this very flat trajectory of at the corporate level. And it was very noticeable. Coinciding with that, they also changed how they market their products as well. They went away from the autumn reveal of their products and they moved to January. And this happened, what, three, four years ago now? It was very obvious that they changed their presence at the Motorcycle Live show in, in particular. They didn't attend other shows, but they went for their January reveal. So all of a sudden they're changing their marketing strategy. Last year, what they were doing, they were moving away from the big shows as well. And they were doing lots of mini road shows. And they're going to smaller motorcycle events or even smaller music events, let's say. And they were taking their motorcycles to try and attract a new crowd, a new type of person. Much smaller, just going with a big uh, articulated lorry, that kind of thing. You know, with a display vehicle, a display lorry with a couple of bikes. And it's a much, much better way of targeting new prospective customers or tapping into a brand new market, but with a minimal investment. So they're probably looking at the whole marketing and saying, well, listen, we don't need to go to Motorcycle Live because this Motorcycle Live show is in the autumn and it's completely out of sync of when we're doing our product reveals. So they've gone through this corporate view. They've gone away from the fun factor. It's got really nothing to do with the marketing of the company anymore. They're not offering anybody anything really that they can get their teeth into. So there's no point in there being there. There's no benefit for Harley Davidson. There's no benefit for any customers going there or motorcycle fans or Harley Davidson fans. So there's no point in being there. And I've got a feeling that's exactly why they're missing at the Motorcycle Live show. It's this very reason. It's got nothing to do with Harley Davidson falling on hard times. I think this is a realization, a marketing strategy that they've changed and that they're looking at ways to best focus their attention now. Where I do think they've completely failed, and I've said this in previous videos where I've talked about Harley Davidson at trade shows before, I think they've moved away from this fun factor. When I first started going back to trade shows after a few years' absence, one thing that, that struck me was that Harley Davidson was the light and soul of those trade shows. You'd be walking around and everybody else, all the other manufacturers, were, were flat. It was very corporate. It was very motorcycle industry. Whereas Harley Davidson, you walk around the corner and all, all of a sudden you, you see flashing lights, you hear music, you hear fun and laughter. And that's what they had. That's what drew you to them. And you'd walk past it and you think, I want to be part of this trade show. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Yeah, this trade stand. I'd, I'd like to spend half an hour here. But they moved away from that. So for me, what they should have done, if you're going to stick to going to an autumn trade show ahead of your January reveal, then you've got to put aside your corporate marketing and you've got to focus on the lifestyle, the fun factor, the community 
and really embrace that and push that. Yes, have your motorcycles on display, of course. It's a motorcycle show, right? It's a trade show, of course you've got to do that. But really put the razzmatazz back in and really put the fun factor back in. You know, good looking girls, models, have actors there, have character people there, have music. I don't know if you can have food there, but food and drinks, you know, promotional stuff there. Just make it a fun place to be. But they haven't done that. So if we're talking about a January reveal of their products, then any subsequent trade show thereafter, Harley Davidson should be there. And I expect them to be there in London in February. I expect them to be there. And they should be there with their new products. So if that's the way they're going, it doesn't surprise me. Lots of people were saying, running up to uh, Motorcycle Life, well, where are Harley Davidson? They should be there. Why aren't they there? Since Harley Davidson weren't at the motorcycle trade show, I've been getting emails from people. Do you know why Harley Davidson weren't there? I've been on there. It's very interesting. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm only guessing here. I don't know. But it seems to me that the autumn trade shows, the motorcycle shows, are out of sync with the marketing plan, the strategy of Harley Davidson themselves. So if you're going to go to these trade shows, you can't focus on your products because you've really got nothing to show. We've already seen them. We already know what products you've got because we've had a whole year of going to the dealerships and looking online and seeing all the YouTube videos about what bikes you have. So there's no point in us going there and seeing something that we've already seen. What we haven't seen in a long time is that big fun factor. We haven't seen the big rebranding of Harley-Davidson. We haven't seen them change the way they're delivering a show, bringing a show. We haven't seen that for a while. So maybe that's what they should focus on. If we want the new products, we'll wait until January and we'll wait for the spring trade shows, let's say. We'll wait for you to come there with your new products. But for the autumn shows, you think you either don't go, like they just haven't, and I'm not surprised by it, or you do go and you bring a party atmosphere. And for me, I think they failed. I think they failed to do that for quite a few years. And if you're not going to do that, it doesn't surprise me that they haven't... Uh, than they haven't attended. And I don't think this has got anything to do with the financial situation of the company. I know there's been a downturn in, in their percentage gains or the now losses of the, in the third quarter results and everything. I don't think it's got anything to do with that. I think it's more to do about synchronizing a, a marketing strategy, a plan, and trying to get the most return on any investment that they make. And I'm not just talking about investment in money, I'm talking about investment in time and focus and energy. They probably see that going to these trade shows with exactly the same trade show infrastructure, if you like, for want of a better word, you know, they've done for the last three years, it's, kind of, it's, it's a waste of time. There's no point in us being there. And I kind of think there's loads of factors here. It's, it's about the cost of putting on a trade show. It's about the kinds of vibe that they're getting from the show itself and whether people enjoy it or not. Whether people are thinking they go to their trade stand and they're having a good time. The data that they're getting back from people who are attending those shows and they're thinking, yeah, it's just not worth it. That's why I think they weren't there. If you've got any information, of course, let us know. There's been no official word from Harley Davidson, as far as I can tell, why they weren't there, why they were going to miss it. We don't really know for sure if they're going to be at another trade show with new branding, which they're trying to bring uh, all around the world. Maybe there was this gap for a reason, because they had to have a gap, a little stop gap, while they reformed all their branding for 2024. Maybe it's something to do with that. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. But uh, Holly Davidson were missing from the Motorcycle Live Show 2023. Yep, and I think it's all for the reasons that I listed before. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notifications bell for all future videos. And I will catch you again on a video coming very soon. Bye now.